this guy is bringing pizza to the door. Jeff Sokol is no pizza delivery man. Cops say he's here to meet a 13-year-old girl. Bro, what even is this outfit? He's looking like he's in denial about his age, like he's dressed in like a 12-year-old trying to go to a skate park. I mean, it's pretty fitting given the kind of girl he's going for, but I'm saying it's doing absolutely nothing for him in the looks department. What's crack a everyone? It's your boy Thundros, finally coming back to you with some more content. And today I've got you guys a teacap favorite, Mr. Jeff Sokol. Personally, I like to call him the pizza predator with a little sausage on the side. I mean, I'm just assuming here, given the uh, type of girl he likes to go for, maybe he uh, doesn't quite measure up to other men, but he's pretty popular in the teacap community and uh, one of the reduxes I've really wanted to do. So kick back, relax, and enjoy, and let's get to making fun of this preto. Sokol drove all the way from Boston to our sting house in Fairfield. Field, Connecticut. So out of curiosity, I decided to look up how far he drove, and this guy traveled just short of three hours to be catfished in the world's best way. This guy really came all that way to go, hey baby, I love it. Oh fuck, it's Chris Hansen. He really traveled 152 miles to take an L. On Sokol's LinkedIn page, he calls himself Master of Puppets. If this is what he's willing to put on LinkedIn, you know, the professional social media site, I don't even want to see this man's Facebook. He probably puts up links to Two Girls, One Cup Kids Edition. If his LinkedIn is weird, I'm just assuming his Facebook is as ratchet as a New York gutter. Possibly a reference to a famous heavy metal song. He says he graduated from the University of Massachusetts Amherst with a degree in management. He worked in the insurance industry as an auditor. But he says he now drives for Lyft, the ride-sharing service. He's working for Lyft? Uh, dude, holy crap, what a step up in the world. I heard that place is really hard to get into. Y'all think the app provides great benefits? Uh, healthcare, dental, all that? I mean, it's gotta pay better than that auditing job that required a degree. I mean, Lyft expects you to own a car. That's like the hardest requirement ever. It's not long before Sokol contacts our decoy, we'll call her Bailey, and the chat gets a little raunchy. Are you a virgin? LOL, yeah, that is personal. These pedophiles gotta be like next level horny that they weren't suspicious. Yes, lol, that's personal. Like there were neon signs that this was not real and they're just like, I, I, I can't read that because I'm too horny. So basically the power of boners is too strong for his mind. Uh, what a big surprise there. Do you trim your blank? LOL, yeah. Do you think blank size matters? Nope, X was decent. So I didn't think my measurement comment from earlier was even going to be relevant, but I'm glad it aged well. And by the way, I think I'm gonna start using the word blank to pick up chicks. Like, just go up to a girl, hey, can I uh, blank you with my blank? I'll try it out for a week, come back to you guys with the results, you know, assuming I don't drown in some blank. I'm not that big, but I know how to satisfy a girl. <laughs> Good time to remember that this was broadcasted on national television. Oh, and here's some more sugar with that medicine. Uh, this Ooh. video was viewed 52 million times. Honestly speaking, how do you even live after this? I mean, you can't really make a comeback from being a predator, and this being put online is basically social obliteration. There's rock bottom, and then there's whatever this is, and I don't see where you go from this. He went the opposite way of hitting the top and somehow dove straight into bedrock. Sokol knows the girl is 13, and he says he knows what he's doing is illegal. As a 44-year-old guy, I shouldn't be talking to 13-year-old girls like this. It will always baffle me that the chat logs alone are not enough to throw these guys away for life. Like, it's literally the only thing about this program that pisses me off. And we're not even talking about them showing up, which, by the way, should tack on chemical castration to their life sentence. Assuming the county wood chipper isn't hungry. Sokol arrives at the house. Our on-site decoy, a 19-year-old theater student, lets him in the door. Oh, they had to custom order that creaky door. There's no way the house they pick is conveniently as creepy as the people they're catching. I'm on to you, Hanson, and your crazy theatrics. I know you secretly want to be a Marvel director. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> sorry, I'm really nervous. Oh, you gonna give me a hug? No, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'll settle into it. <laughs> Yeah, ain't no one want to touch this guy and feel free to take what I just said in every way. You guys see the way the decoy ran around the table? Yeah, no, that would be hashtag me too. Just being in the presence of this human garbage probably feels like a violation. I hope this girl is being paid in more than just experience. With what she has to deal with, that would be bullshit. Jeff Sokol thinks he's going to scarf down some pepperoni pizza with a 13-year-old girl he just met online. But tonight... He apparently has a different kind of topping in mind. Yeah, something tells me he wanted to be the topping, but to be honest, he looks more like a bottom. Handsome bro, we get it. He's here to baby make with a teeny bopper. I had to cut out a lot of awkward conversation with the decoy, and I just wonder, why are they torturing her? The guy is well in the house. I think you got him. You can start the interview. Did you 
My hair just, it lightens up in the summer. And, and no, I'm not saying, I mean, I think you look <laughs> you don't great. Like it? I think you look great. I'm just saying, like, you, you look different. Yeah. And then... You don't look the same from the photo. Yeah, maybe that's a giant red flag. There's down bad and then there's down desperate. Like, damn, dude, you should have ran. Not that it would have done him any good by this point, but the guy's got the common sense of a turkey. Than, uh, than I thought. Yeah. But, uh, no, nothing wrong with that. Well, you never can tell with online things, you know? In a text that will turn your stomach, Sokol talks about a marriage contract and even suggests they elope. Oh yeah, don't mind him. He's just gonna go elope with a 13-year-old. You know her parents have to sign off on that, right? There is no way he pictured a winning scenario to this. Like, Doctor Strange can see 14,605 different scenarios and not a single one of them ends with her parents saying, Go ahead, Mr. Sokol. Marry our teenage daughter. What kind of pizza do we have tonight? Who's this? I'll get to that in a minute. Who are you? Who are you? You tell me first. Listen, if he's just gonna sit here and play no you with Chris Hansen for 10 minutes, I, I can come back. Bro, if you don't know who Chris Hansen is, I would just assume this is the girl's father and you're about to eat a 12 gauge. He's gonna be like, here, take two of these, do not call me in the morning. Who are you? You tell me first. You're Jeff, right? I, for the life of me, cannot figure out what it is he would be smiling about. Maybe he thinks he's going to get the uh, dad in on him and his daughter's team sport. Maybe he's just too stupid to realize how bad his situation has turned. That's probably the best answer and the least likely to make you throw up. But a smile from Pennywise would be more inviting than whatever this face is. I can't explain it, but this is just not okay. Yeah. And what are you doing here tonight, Jeff? Hanging out. Hanging out with whom? With her. Who's her? Uh, I, I want to know who you are. Yeah, no, I don't think you get to ask the questions in this situation. In fact, I would be begging for my life. You never got to have any publicity, but if you did, it would have a total 180 here. Like, bro, you're going to be getting that Amber Heard life. You're going to be about as liked as a canker sore. I want to know a little bit more about you first. Can I eat first? Sure, go ahead. I feel like right there is just him accepting that this is probably going to be the last decent meal he has for a long time. Homie knew he was going down here and he's like, yeah, I better eat my pizza. In his defense, and uh, no, not for the felony he's committing, but uh, that pizza is probably smelling real good. Tell me who you are, because, you know, I didn't know there would be other people here. I didn't know there'd be other people here. Bro, you're not even supposed to be here. He has some insane hubris to not be absolutely sh his pants right now. Like he's really acting like he actually belongs here. Why is he even asking this stuff? I mean, best case scenario, that's her father. Unless he's genuinely dumb enough to think a 13 year old girl called over two old men to have a group sesh, which I would not put past him, by the way. Well, what did you expect to happen this time, Jeff? Didn't have any expectations. No expectations whatsoever. No. <sighs> Who are you? To come here. Are you her dad? To meet a young girl. Are you, are you her dad? I will get to that in a minute. Why do you care so much who it is you're talking to? You're a grown man in a 13-year-old's house. That's the only thing that matters. My dude, you need to get your priorities straight. Like, do you think finding out who this is gonna, like, absolve you of your crimes? Maybe I'm the only one that sees it, but I think you have bigger problems right now. Uh, go ahead, have a bite. Sokol probably should have brought napkins. There was literally zero reason for him to add commentary there. It added absolutely nothing to the investigation. And I'm convinced that Chris Hansen went into a recording booth, recorded this blurb, put it on there, just out of spite. It wasn't even that funny, but I love the commitment. Just to take a free shot at Sokol. I haven't done anything wrong. Coming to meet somebody? What's wrong? What, what, is that against Coming the law? to meet a young girl? Yeah, is that against the law? It should be. How can a person that knows he's committing a crime not realize how creepy they sound? Like Sokol, homie, do you hear the words coming out of your lips right now? I feel like I've been calling him stupid a lot, but yeah, he's just an idiot. I can't even, like, figure out what he's trying to do here. I mean, get out, obviously. I just can't figure out how his questions will help him achieve that. Did you bring some kind of a contract with you? Some sort of marriage contract? Okay. <laughs> I'm glad he thinks this is funny. I mean, I think it's funny too. You know, not what he was trying to do with a child, but you know, just how f***ed he is. His gut reaction to start scarfing down that pizza because he realizes how screwed he is, cherry on top. They should have had a couple of the cops come in, take the pizza away, be like, nope, you're on pizza time out. You can have this back when you start telling the truth to Mr. Hansen. Just start treating him like a child because, you know, it's what he likes. You say, I can't go to jail. My life would be ruined. Right. Could be locked up for 20 years. Yep. Yeah. And then you say, do you trim your blank? Okay. 
I don't even want to know what's going through the person's mind that can laugh through the situation. Like, if I've never seen a sociopath before today, uh, it just happened. It's also entirely possible that he's sincerely so brain dead he's basically a sloth, but like, even a sloth knows when it's in danger, so like, uh, he might just have literal poop for brains. I mean, crap for brains is the clinical term, but I ain't no doctor. But yeah, he got that. Now you know that this girl is 13, right? I wasn't sure. She's told you. Because, you know, now you're, you're making me nervous and... You're 44 years old. Oh, what? You're starting to get nervous? Oh, man. Well, let's start taking some of the pressure off of you. Why don't you sit back, relax, finish your pizza? In fact, you know what? We'll order you another one. And then you can explain to us why you tried to commit a felony. Yeah, buddy, I don't think anyone's gonna give a damn if you're feeling scared right now. I'm willing to bet there are people out there hoping you feel that way. In fact, I bet they're hoping you feel much worse. I know, sadistic people, but honestly, I'm kind of on their side. Explain it to me. Just wanted to come hang out and... It looks like here you wanted to come here and have sex with a 13-year-old girl. Okay, is there a, is that against the law to like... To, to have sex with a 13-year-old girl no. when you're 44? Yes, no, it's against me, the law. We're gonna sidebar on him asking if that's illegal, cause, you know, disgusting. But this guy was aiming for a 31-year difference. Like, dude was not trying to rob the cradle at that point. He's trying to rob the womb. Bro, I would be throwing up if I still had a gag reflex. Well, uh, to be honest with you, yeah. you're not gonna believe me, but I was thinking about this on the way down. Right. You know, two and a half hours to think about it. And <laughs> I, I wasn't gonna, I, I'm not gonna risk it. That's, that's what I said. What an upstanding guy. He was worried about the risk. Not, not the life he might ruin. The risk of getting caught. That would be the real tragedy here. The monster doesn't even realize he's a monster, and I think that's one of the scariest things about him. That and his ugly ass faux hawk. Like, dude, did someone just, like, throw the dirtiest carpet on top of your head? It looks like he's wearing a dead baby skunk. Like, I don't know who your barber is, bro, but you gotta fire him. If he told you this looks good, he lied. So, you talk about a plan to make it legal. To marry her. Right? Yeah, not like, not in two seconds. I mean, like... So if you liked her, like, next week or the week after, you'd marry a 13-year-old no, girl? not next week. No. Man, I hate it when 40-year-old guys pull up to the house and try to marry a 13-year-old girl. I mean, I know it probably happens on the daily with, you know, how casual Mr. Sokol here is handling it, but it doesn't mean it isn't a nuisance. I feel like they should make extra special rules to prevent stuff like this. I want to say I'm shocked that this guy is actually dumb enough to think he could convince some parents of a 13-year-old girl to sign a marriage contract. Like, he really thought he was going to come up to some people like, listen, listen, I know I'm old enough to be her grandpa, and she's not even an adult yet, but I think we belong together. This guy was gonna have a cane before she even hit her legal drinking age. So then you'd marry a 13-year-old girl, because she's really cool and you could have sex. Um, after a while, if it, if it worked out, yeah. You know, I want to make a joke here, but I literally can't think of one. I I'm just purely disgusted. I'm just so disturbed I can't come up with something. He just so casually says, yeah, I was just gonna, you know, marry and deed a lead a lead a 13 year old girl. Like, what can I possibly say here that is not offensive? I challenge you to tell me what I could say. This is the kind of crime I think should get people banned from the internet. Like, I don't care what kind of prison sentence he gets or what kind of parole he gets. He should just straight up not be allowed to use the internet anymore. Like, Sokol, you want to go Google some new pizza place? Uh, sorry, you can't. You better go get the yellow pages. The internet is not for you. Do I, I mean, do I seem like a, like a, like a dishonest, dirty person? I'm gonna tell him. Well, you see, the thing about that, Sokol, is, um, yes, we can believe you're a dirty, dishonest person. And I don't think I'd even stop there. I mean, there's disturbing, dastardly, disgusting, just so many non-positive ways we can describe him. Feel free to add to the list in the comments below. I mean, do I, do I seem like it to you? It seems like chat someone who is 44 chat. years old. Chat is chat. Chat right. is chat, but showing up is showing up. And guess what, Jeff? You showed up. Yeah, chat is chat. Yeah, no, mind you, if I put some of the stuff he sent to the decoy on this uh, screen, I'd get demonetized if not struck down. But yeah, I'm sure chat is just chat. Plus, uh, I don't think that excuse would hold up in court. Uh, yes, judge, chat is just chat. Sir, you showed up to the house. This guy was just trying to make his own movie. It was gonna be called 13 going under 44. I'm just assuming he had a broad target audience. A movie made with kids, uh, four kids of all ages. You can take your pizza if you like. You want a slice? I'm good, thank you very much. That was probably the manliest thing he's ever done in his entire life. I mean, he just offered a slice of pizza to the man who just destroyed him socially. Like, yeah, Hanson, no hate. You want a slice? I mean, I know you're just doing your job, bro. He was definitely right to decline, though. I mean, I wouldn't touch that pizza with a 50-foot sausage. Sokol was charged with three felony counts, attempted second-degree sexual assault, attempted risk of injury to a minor, and enticing a minor by computer.
So the good news is he got charged pretty heavily, but unfortunately he only got seven years in prison. And yes, he did have to go on the uh, registry, so that's a permanent black mark on his life, plus, you know, all this internet infamy. Anyways, I'm gonna start wrapping up, but before I do that, I'm going to give you guys a few fun facts. Uh, apparently Jeff Sokol tried to make some music, but that obviously didn't pan out because, you know, we're not rocking out to Pizza Jam. I'm sure that would have been a chart topper. Next up, apparently he's living out in uh, Cape Cod. I don't know why he would choose there, but it's probably better he's not in a big city like Boston. And last but not least, apparently he tried to change his name to Sonny Derek Porter, but it got denied for the same reason he can't vote. No clue why he would choose such a weird and very standout name. You would think he'd do everything to, you know, duck low. Like, maybe pick something a little more generic, like John Smith? I don't know. Uh, if you guys can tell, he's not exactly the person to make smart, rational decisions. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was kind of a long one, but uh, if you did, like and subscribe to the channel, because it does help me out a ton. With that though, try not to do anything too stupid, please keep yourselves safe, and until next time, this is Thundro signing off.